Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with the ninth layout using the May Hip Kit. This one took me an hour and a half to make and I, as you can tell, there are tons of scraps. I have two full sheets of that Pink Paisley Citrus Bliss, which I end up using one of them. And then I keep the other one for another layout. I'm going to use these this color wheel and it's from Stampin' Up! I've had that forever. And I just wanted to make some circles and I didn't want to take out my circle cutter. I actually did this layout during my rotation so I'd work a night shift and then I'd come home and um, work on this for between 10 and 20 minutes every day until it was done and I think that was one of the reason why it took me so long was because I just didn't you know sit there and just do it all at once but I, I ended up getting one layout done during my rotation right I um did it that way the whole time so and sometimes after I woke up before I went to work too I, I did 10-15 minutes on it too before I went to work so I ended up doing the whole layout like that with little spurts here and there now the month of June on my Facebook group was to do you know something with scraps do something out of nothing and um, so I'm pretty much at that stage with the papers I don't have a ton of papers left and I had so much fun um, doing stuff with the leftovers of my April kit that I was kind of still in in that mode even though this is layout 9 I was still kind of thinking man I have tons of scraps here that I could you know get something fun done with it so uh, I wanted I thought of doing two one full circle and then the other one just doing sort of a three quarters of a circle I guess and then just doing three quarters inch three quarter inch strips and then just go to town just glue them over the circle and then the shape is done for me and it's a great way to use little scraps that let's you know let's be serious I probably um, wouldn't have used otherwise unless I find ways like this that I can use them on layouts like this that I just use scraps and you know once I'm done with a layout uh, or with a kit sorry once I'm done with a kit I'm done with the papers too because by the time I'm done a kit I usually get between we'll say 15 plus layouts so this layout this kit here I got 17 layouts left now as soon as I'm done with this kit or with this voiceover I'm going to see if I have enough to do I don't have enough to do a regular layout but I might have enough to do a project life because uh, I still have most of my project life cards but I don't know if I have enough embellishments so I ha I might have to put some embellishments from my stash but if I do that there's literally going to be nothing left to that kit and that's the way I like it I like that when I'm done with something it's it's done I just put it away out of my mind it's you know then I can put these uh, pages into my albums and they're done and I mentioned too that I was going to do a video for my goals for the year and sort of where I'm at and uh, I'm hoping to get that done on Sunday I know I won't have time today and tomorrow I have a bunch of stuff left to do uh, only I'm doing a bit of overtime so um, not a lot of time at home let me put it that way so now that I have two days I have to get it done but anyway back to the layout now that I have a, a ton of scraps done I just glued it to the two circles and I cut that out because it was just gluing you know scraps of paper onto the circles I left all of it hanging over the sides and when I was done I flipped the circle over because then you can see the cardstock and then I cut around it and that was done now I'm taking some white gesso this time because I want to I want to create sort of a dreamy effect I kind of put the circles where I knew they were gonna sit and then I'm putting some white gesso and again because I want to create a dreamy effect because at this point I turned off the 
recording. I chose my picture so I knew what my pictures were going to be. And now I'm going ahead with the layout. Okay. So now I'm just going to dry that up with my tool. And I'm going to add some color. And I know it's going to be a page about Mason, so I'm going to keep it with the blues. And in the color add-on this, this month, we got the Distress Ink and the Mermaid Lagoon. And so I'm just putting it on some pa packaging, adding some water, and I'm just adding um, some blue Distress Ink everywhere. Now, I'm going to have sort of two main clusters or two main places where I'm going to put the pages on, or the pictures on this page. The top right where the main circle is and then the bottom left where that little three quarters of a circle is. And now I want to add more colors or more colors. So I thought it'd be fun again to take the nozzle from I took the same colors, the Mermaid Lagoon, and this came from my stash because I actually didn't purchase the uh, color add-on this month because I had most of what was in the color add-on. But what, what I did was I kind of put it aside and I'm using it with this kit because the colors matched perfectly. But it's a good way that if, you know, you want to get into some mixed media, but you don't want to you know, break the bank every month or a month <laughs> to try to get some stuff. This, you get a little bit of mixed media every month. And the great thing is, is once the month is done, it just doesn't go and sit on in your stash. You can keep bringing it forward and mixing colors and, you know, getting a lot of use out of it. And, you know, another good thing is, is once the month is done, it's still full <laughs> you know there's still quite a bit of stuff into it like that ink pad when you know this month is going to be done that ink pad is still going to be pretty much full so i had run out of my atg and i thought okay well i'll just use my handheld one from stampin up well that one ran out too so i didn't have a choice i had to uh, refill my atg which doesn't take too, too long. There you go. And the only thing, because this is the cheap rolls, I just have to make sure that um, the glue goes on the inside of the roll. Now, when you listen to their videos, it says some of the roll. I, I use between one and two rolls a week. And the two rolls a week do that. <laughs> it's not some rolls, it's all rolls. They're on the wrong side. So basically all you have to do is kind of pull on the glue and then it goes goes out the right way. And I have a video on how to load your ATG gun. So just go check under the how to and I talk about how it does that and how to stop tape bunching too. So when I cut off that circle the top right circle there was a little left over so I decided to put it to the top left of the layout and it just kind of uh, it it adds a little interest there plus it kind of gives me somewhere where I'm going to be able to to put my title so these pictures here is about Mason and his little lamb because his little toy that he goes to bed with is a little lamb anyway one night it's like a story. One night, little Mason did not want to go to sleep. And so Nami, his Nami, said, well, if Mason comes to bed with Nami and his little lamb, Ma Nami's going to sing you a little song about Mason and his little lamb. Well, this is, so the story on this is going to be the night that we forever changed the nursery rhyme <laughs> of Mary had a little lamb because nope, in our house, it's no longer Mary had a little lamb. It's Mason had a little lamb. And now every time I put him to bed, we got to pick up his little lamb. And, you know, he says, Nami sing, Mason had a little lamb. 
And I say, yep, Mason had a little lamb. And then he, and then he says, fleece white as snow. Oh, and then, well, you know, and I, to tell you the truth, that nursery rhyme, I never get it right anyway. I always get it wrong. So I just make up my own words and he laughs and he just thinks that it's funny. <laughs> but it's a great way. He comes to bed. He Once he's in bed, like he doesn't cry or anything to, like to go to bed. He just says, no, Mason, not go to bed. I mean, typical two-year-old, right? I don't go to sleep. <laughs> he just wants to stay up and play, right? This is fun. I'm at Nami's and Pappy's house. Why in the world would I want to go to bed? But anyway... And it just, he loves going to bed if we sing that little song and I just have to sing it for a few minutes and then he's fine. And then he, I get him to the lamb to kiss him and and then he's, he's great. And so that's what I'm going to talk about, about how, you know, yep, the Joneses, we have changed that nursery rhyme forever. <laughs> and uh, so I'm... The title of this is going to be Mason Had a Little Lamb. Now, I'm going to use a couple uh, of fonts from April's kits. The Alex um, font in the white and silver. And also the other font that looks like, I don't know, to me it looks like little bubbles. And, um, and it's in teal. Now... There was a wood veneer that came in this kit and it said love every day and i colored it with the pink, or pink yeah the yellow paint that came in that color add-on and it just took like a coat maybe two and then i dried it with my heat gun and then i also used the little pebbles tiny stickers that to write had a little and then i'm going to put my title right there between the two circles so it's going to connect the two circles and I know I want to do some journaling. So I'm taking again one of my Project Life cards. And I'm going to cut it down to size so that it's the same size as my photo. So what I did was I had taken a picture. Because I've been wanting to do this layout for quite a bit there. Because that happened, uh, you know, a few months ago. And I didn't have a picture of his little lamb. So this last time when he came over... Um, he had gone out with his mom somewhere and his little lamb stayed here. So I took a picture of his little lamb and then I just took a picture of Mason. And because uh, I had wanted to take a picture of him and his lamb, but I forgot. So then I just took a picture of Mason and uh, that I had on my phone. So on my Canon selfie, the top right one, I put three of the little lamb and then Mason. And then I took a close up picture of the little lamb and did at four by four just so that because the other pictures are kind of small so that we could have a, you know, so later on he would have a good picture of his little lamb. Now I'm going to use some of those enamel uh, words from Chicken Nitty and I just put hashtag today because today, you know, was sort of the day that we changed that nursery rhyme. Now the top cluster, I put uh, the picture and then I'm going to put a Project Life card and I'm going to take one of those little, I think those were the, oh, I don't know what they're from, but they're little clips and it has a little heart. And then I took a puffy sticker that says us. And what am I putting down there? I'm just putting the hashtag today now. And uh, I showed him the page. The next time, or yeah, the last time he came over, I'd done the page. I showed him the page. Well, he thought it was pretty special. <laughs> he loved it. Even at two, he loved it. So now, because I wanted to make this dreamy, I went into my stash and I grabbed a couple of my Fiskar punches. And I punched out a few um, clouds with the leftover white cardstock. And I'm going to start my title onto a cloud. And it sort of is a little base for my title. So I put a cloud under the M and A for Mason. And then there's going to be a couple little clouds under, you know, the word lamb. 
and then it's going to also touch the photo and then I'm going to put a couple of embellishments there which is a puffy stickers in a camera and a heart and then it connects those two circles together and where that first circle like that the top left circle was so little that's what for me made it so that it connected to the rest of the layout is that the title is right there and it connects the two top circles and it didn't matter to me that the two bottom circles didn't connect because the bottom left circle whew, that's confusing is is big like it's it's you know three quarters of a circle so it's making an impact of its own on the layout and it's got the bigger photo like the top right photo is still a four by four but because it's four small photos it doesn't stand out as much as you know the little lamb on the bottom and uh, and that's one of the reasons to where how I decided to put the four by four that was the one picture to the bottom instead of to the top circle because it was to me it was heavier because it was one picture and it was bigger that's how I decided to put it to the bottom left now the bottom left photo I put that hashtag today and then I also put a couple little clouds and then I put uh, some chipboard stickers and a couple of puffy stickers on that one too and like I said probably if I would have done this layout um, on my days off and I would have been totally awake it probably would not have taken me an hour and a half to do I mean although gluing those strips does take a little bit of time it's not that time consuming I mean it's not as if you cut one strip and glue it one strip and glue it you cut down all your strips at once and then you glue them down all at once so I think it was more the fact that you know I was a little sleepy <laughs> Maybe the song was putting me to sleep, <laughs> but um, I was fine with that. At least I got, usually I get zero layouts done during my rotation just because I am super tired. And like I said, lately I have been doing some overtime. I haven't done overtime, like a bunch of overtime in over two years, I, just because my health wasn't there. And, and I'm not going to do a ton now. I plan on doing 20 shifts overtime from here to December or January. And there's a reason. Um, I want to buy, and I've already told my husband because our anniversary went by, Father's Day went by, his birthday. So I kind of had to tell him. <laughs> three, three things, you know, going by and no gifts. Uh, what the hey? <laughs> So what I'm going to be working towards is buying him a tractor and a, like it's a tractor that has more than one attachment so it can be for snow and um, mowing the lawn. So I figured I have to do 20 shifts over time and that's probably going to pay only about half of it. So it's, it's not a little purchase and I want to make it so that it comes from me. So that's why I'm doing the overtime. But he knows that I'm, he doesn't want me to, you know, kill myself doing the overtime to do it. So, so that's it. Wow, that was quick. The, here comes some close-ups of all the clusters and the pages done. So thanks for watching. Bye.